All right. So this is just a little bit about Marion Tech to get us started. Um, this says that we are in our 50th year. However, we are now in our 50, uh, 51st year. So this is year 51 for us. Um, we have on our campus um, students that come from 22 different counties and other states. So, you know, we are very diverse. Our campus is very diverse. You will meet people. There are people from, I know, Wisconsin, Michigan. So, you know, you may meet somebody from um, the opposite end of the country on our campus. We do share a campus with Ohio State University at Marion, um, and it is a total of 180 acres. So it is a nice size campus. It's very pretty. I don't know how many of you have been to the campus. Um, I would suspect that maybe you have, but it is a very beautiful campus. Um, our school year is three semesters. We have the fall semester, which is August through December. Spring semester is January through April. And then our summer um, session is May. It's like the end of May, the beginning of June through July. Okay. Now these little um, pie graphs that you can see the little circles down here. Um, I don't know how big they are for you to see them, but they kind of give you a give you a breakdown of you know what degrees or programs that most of our students choose. And as you can see, the pink one says 57%. So they will come to Marion Tech and then we will give them that course. Um, attendance, you see that I'm a big part of our students attend either full-time or part-time. We only have a very small percentage of students that are enrolled less than half-time, okay? So most of the students are full-time or part-time. And then the largest age range that we have on our campus is 17 to 24 year olds. So, you know, we, we get those students that are right out of high school, they wanna save some money, so they'll come to Marion Tech and you know, a role of one of our great programs. All right, so just to give you a breakdown um, of what it's like to be in a classroom at Marion Tech, the average size is about 24 people. So it's not a big um, classroom at all. I know when I was a freshman in college, um, I had a very large class. One of my classes had like 50 students in it. So I kind of felt like, wow, this is overwhelming. But at Marion Tech, the, the most students that you will see in a class is 24. Um, and then when you um, are doing your labs, so like each program has a lab component to go with um, the actual classroom time. Um, and that lab component is just like hands-on. So you're actually doing something with your hands. Um, you're, you're learning a specific um, skill, technique or something. So that's what our lab is. And the average size for that is 17 people. They're not large at all. Um, and our campus has uh, a little over 2,600 students at this point. So again, it's not very overwhelming. It's not a large campus um, and you won't run into a lot of people. It's not intimidating. You know, you'll fit right in um, and feel at home. We have 32 um, associate degree programs. However, I think that might be a little bit larger now because I know we just added um, at least one. So I'll say we have 33. Um, we have six academic departments, um, which are healthcare, IT, engineering, public service. And I know I'm missing a couple. Um, I think CCP is in there, College Credit Plus. But yes, there's six of them total. Um, and then we have 15 certificate programs. So our certificate programs they're not a full two-year program. Most of the certificates can be completed in one year, um, but they will allow you the certification or a credential to where you can get your foot in the door with an employer. So, you know, we do have a lot of students who are just looking for something really quickly. I know real estate is one that pops in my head. You know, you can get a certificate um, to sell, sell real estate. And it only takes two semesters. Well, no, the certificate for real estate is only four courses. Um, most of the other certificate programs are only two semesters, which is one year. Um, and as I said, you'll get a credential that you can use on a job application and that will get your foot in the door to a, a good job. Um, the cost of tuition right now is $190 per credit hour. Each of the classes that we offered they, they have credit hours associated with them. So most of the classes are three credit hours. 
Um, so you would take the $190, multiply that times three, and then you would get the total cost for that specific class, okay? So each class, you would do that same math with each class, and then that would tell you what the total cost of your tuition is for that particular semester. Um, now, there is, um, as far as financial aid goes for financial aid purposes, students who enroll um, in at least 12 credit hours, that is the norm. Most of our students do um, 12 credit hours per semester that is considered full time. Okay, so your average cost of tuition for that semester would be $2,280. Okay, and then any um, students who enroll for 13 to 16 credit hours, which that's a heavy caseload, but we do have students who do that. Um, you get a little bit of a discount once you go over the average 12 credit hours, um, and that breaks down to $2,470. Um, as far as financial aid, most of our students, you see at least 90%, um, I do believe it is higher, 90% um, of our students receive some form of financial aid, whether it be um, scholarships, loans, grants, um, at least 90% of our students um, take full advantage of the financial aid that is offered out there. So, you know, I encourage all of you to complete the FAFSA as soon as you can, um, when it's your time, um, and just take advantage of all of the aid that you have available for you. However, the good part about Marion Technical College is that most of our students do not need to use um, the student loans. So that is a huge savings for them. You know, they, they do qualify for scholarships and grants, so they don't have to take out that additional money for loans that they have to pay back. Grants, they do not have to pay those back. That's just free money. Um, and most of the time, the grants will cover the full cost of tuition. So just keep that in mind um, when you're doing your financial aid and discussing this with your parents and trying to decide on which school to choose. Latoya, we did have a quick question. Um, that the cost, um, is that per class not counting financial aid? So the one, the what was it, $130? 90, 190. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's prior to financial aid, correct? Yes, that is prior to financial aid. So once your financial aid is processed, um, like you do, you, you'll do the FAFSA, okay? That information then goes to the federal government. The government then sends all of their um, information about your FAFSA to Marion Technical College. Our financial aid department will process that. They will then send you a letter telling you exactly how much financial aid you're eligible for. And again, that includes student loans and um, any grants that you're eligible for. So then once you schedule your classes and you have an actual class schedule, um, then that's how your billing statement is generated. So that will tell you how much you have to pay for that particular semester. Then once you accept, you have to actually sign a form to accept your financial aid. The financial aid department will process and take and put whatever you've accepted for your aid and apply that to your billing statement. So then, okay, let's say your bill is $2,000. Your financial aid is um, $1,800. So you'll take um, and subtract the 18 from the 2000 and you'll get $200 that's left over, um, that would be how much you owe. So yes, the total cost of tuition is before financial aid is applied. But once you receive that financial aid letter and you accept it, then it will automatically be placed on your billing statement. And nine times out of 10, you won't even know about it until you get a letter that says you have a zero balance. Okay, so that's how that works. Did I explain that good enough? And how okay. long does that take? Um, for the financial, well, most people know exactly what their financial aid award is before classes even start. Um, if you're asking how long does it take for the aid to be applied to the account, um, that, that's usually done at, as soon as um, we receive the letter saying that, yes, you accept this award, this financial aid award. Once we receive that letter back, then it's automatically sent to the billing department that this is, you know, what financial aid is awarded for this particular semester and it's done automatically. Oh, okay, that helps a lot. Okay, yeah, so it's it's really quick. It's like almost immediate, you know, but it's just all based on how quickly the student responds 
to the financial aid award letter that they received. And when I went to school, I didn't have money to pay out of pocket for it. I couldn't afford that. So I had to rely on financial aid. That's the only way that I got through school. And I'm going to tell you, a good majority of students use financial aid. Um, there's very few that can afford to pay for it right out of their pocket. So you are not the only one. And good Glad for you for staying on top of that. All right. Any other questions before I move on? No, nope. okay. that looks clear. Excellent. Okay, great. So in keeping with that, um, this chart um, kind of shows you that Marion Tech really truly is um, a better cost savings for you when you are considering which colleges to go to. Um, the blue bar will, is for all of the four-year public colleges in Ohio, okay? So that would be like your Ohio State. Um, I don't know, what's, what's another public one, Jen? Um, all, that, I want to go to Michigan University. Oh, okay. Well, that that's something totally different because then you are going to have out-of-state tuition, which is usually a lot higher than students who live in Michigan. So if you if you are from Ohio and you decide you want to go to college um, in Michigan, you are going to have to pay at a higher cost than even the though it's literally like four hours away from where I'm at. Yes, because it's in a different state. It's called out-of-state tuition. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's just something to keep in mind. I mean, if you really want to go there, absolutely. You should that's go my where, dream, dream college. Yep, that's where you should go then if that's what you want to do. But just keep that in mind when you're thinking about costs, okay? Um, and when you're thinking about financial aid, just, you know, if that's <laughs> what you need to be able to cover the cost of tuition for college, then, you know, just think about how much financial aid you're going to need to cover that tuition, okay? Yep, start right. working. <laughs> yeah, you got, and you can do work study, absolutely do work study. So you can work on campus, receive a paycheck, and then that money can be applied to the cost of your tuition. So yeah, you can always That's do work awesome. study, that is an option. Okay, all right. So now let's talk about um, our academic programs. Okay, so we do have an Associate of Art and Associate of Science, um, Associate, these are Associate degree, two, two year degrees. Um, and these are the first two years of a four year degree. So if you enroll in an Associate of Arts or an Associate of, of Science program, you will get those general education courses that every college student has to take in those first two years. Um, so you'll do stuff like English comp, You'll do your math courses like college algebra. Um, you'll do like communications courses, um, um, computer courses, psychology courses, history, um, literature, languages. You'll get all of those as the general education courses, but you can complete those um, on our campus with the Associate of Arts or the Associate of Science um, degree, okay? So keep that in mind as well. If you're looking to save on the cost of tuition to go to college, I would recommend starting at, a, at Marion Technical College, do the first two years with us first, you will have all of those general education courses done that you can transfer to a four-year institution. You will enroll into that institution as a college junior. Um, and you will also have a degree at that point. So when you, you know, if you're wanting to look for employment while you're going to school, you will then have a degree that looks good, good on your resume and shows employers, okay, well, this person does have a, a college education, so this makes them a good candidate, okay? And here are the academic um, departments that I was talking about. Okay, so we have business. Again, most are um, open enrollment, so... Really, like with our with our business students, um, they're just looking to um, increase or add to the jobs that they currently have. Um, that that's what our business students do. Um, I know we have human resources professionals, so they come to Marion Tech to get the associate degree in human resources, and that just adds more value to their position um, and kind of solidifies their position 
It opens up earning potential for their position. Um, so most of our business students, they're just looking to add value to their resume um, and to their skills. Um, and you know, it is open to anyone. It's, it's open enrollment. Most of these are open enrollment except for um, our healthcare programs and our public service, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, engineering again is open enrollment. I, I really enjoy going into our engineering lab, seeing all the robots and all the different things as they work. Um, it's really exciting. So that is another one of our programs, engineering. Healthcare. Healthcare is um, limited enrollment because um, we have a lot of students that apply for our healthcare programs. Um, and those include like physical therapy, um, radiography, sonography, nursing. Nursing is a big one on our campus. So because we have so many applicants every year, it is limited enrollment, which means that there are specific requirements that you must meet before you're even eligible to apply into those programs. So when you're ready, and if you're considering a healthcare profession, um, give us a call. We will go over all of those requirements with you, okay? Then we have um, IT or information technology that is open to anyone. Um, it's not one of those specific ones that you have to do a separate application for. Anybody can um, enroll into the IT program. And then public service. Um, some of that is limited enrollment, um, simply because like we offer the police academy training, which is a um, two semester program, and that's to become um, like a police officer. So if you're not wanting to do the full two year criminal justice degree, but you know that you want to be a police officer, you can roll, you can enroll into the, um, the police academy training. That is selective in that students have to take a pre and post physical assessment. If you don't pass the physical assessment at the beginning, you will not be allowed to enroll until you can pass that assessment. So that's why they say that it's kind, some are limited enrollment, but that, that's really it. Okay. All right. So to talk about how the classes work um, and what's required for classes, most classes meet twice per week. Um, and, you know, it's either like a Monday, Wednesday, or a Tuesday, Thursday. Our healthcare, um, some of our healthcare programs, though, they meet five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, classes usually meet for about an hour and a half. Um, and then you can either take classes online um, or you'll take them within the classroom. I know with all the COVID stuff that's been happening, we've had a combination of both. So, you know, when everything was shut down, some of our students, like 50% of the class would meet in the classroom while the other 50% of the class was doing stuff at home. And then on the second day that the class met, they would switch. So the students that were working from home were now in the classroom and then the classroom students were working from home. Okay, um, again, you will have lab with, with each program that we offer, there is a lab component to it. I remember, remember I said that's like hands-on stuff that you'll actually be doing to learn like actual technical skills um, or um, techniques for things. Um, let's see, it is recommended to study two hours for each hour of class time. And, and that is serious. Um, you know, if you're in class for an hour and a half, I, I would definitely spend at least four hours studying. It, it is true. The classes are difficult. They are challenging, um, but you will get through them. I apologize. So I'm working from home and someone is knocking on my door and I have no idea who it is. I heard something about housing. Yes, there were some questions in the chat about housing, um, whether there's dorms. And I wasn't sure if, if that was later on in your presentation or not. You know, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. So I'll go ahead and answer that now. Okay, um, thank you. We don't necessarily have housing on our campus. No, Marion Tech does not have housing. OSUM does not have housing. However, there is a cross the street from our campus. It's called the Annex. It is a housing, um, um, it's an apartment apartment building and it's got multiple apartments in that and most of the residents within that apartment complex or apartment building 
our, our students, students stay there. Um, so any students that call me and want to talk about housing, I refer them to the annex. Um, and again, I said it's right across the street from our campus. It's in walking distance to like restaurants. Walmart is right behind it. Um, Kroger's right there. You've got a bowling alley. Blue, Blue Fusion is um, within walking distance. So it's in a great location to shopping and dining. Um, and I know within the individual apartments in that building, it's set up where there's four students or four people per unit, okay? So each person has their own bedroom and bathroom. Um, and that's as much as I know about it. But no, it's not affiliated or owned by uh, Marion Tech or OSUM. However, we do refer, you know, students to the annex and they can get all of that information and most of the residents are students of Ohio State or Marion Technical College. Okay. Um, any other questions in the chat that you want to go over? Uh, do they offer a Bachelor of Law or the Juris degree? No, no, we do not have any um, bachelor degree programs on our campus at this time. Um, we are only um, a two-year community college which means we only have associate degree programs or certificate programs. However, we do have on the horizon, um, we will be offering um, a bachelor degree program. I don't know if I'm even supposed to talk about it yet, but um, it is coming, but no, we don't offer that right now. Okay. Okay. Um, but again, you can always, like any of these programs, you can take this, this two-year degree and transfer it very easily to a four-year institution. So, you know, we've got um, partnerships with certain schools and they will accept all of the coursework, all of the classes that you take at Marion Technical College, they will accept those and give you full transfer credit for them. Okay. Well, that's good too. Yes, yes. Okay. So back to this, um, our part-time students, um, again, it's, it's one to 11 credit hours. And then as I said, most of our students are full-time and they, they take credit hour, 12 credit hours or more, okay? So you can really kind of determine how you want to do it. If you get into a position where you do not have financial aid, um, that will cover the cost of your tuition and you have to pay out of pocket for it, then you can you know, take one class at a time if you need to, um, or you can work it out that way and just do part-time um, the one to 11 credit hours. Okay, so we offer academic assistance. We have um, our, um, in our computer lab, um, our student success center, we offer academic assistance. So um, we have first year and faculty advisors um, who are there to provide, a, they're a mentor to you. So if you're struggling in a class, you can talk to um, your advisor or to the faculty member that you've been assigned to, to be your mentor, mentor or faculty advisor. They will assist you in any way that they can. You know, they will help you manage your time. They will um, suggest tutoring services for you. But yes, they are there and I encourage you um, to use them because they are a great resource. They are a great support if you're struggling. We have placement testing. So most of the students who apply to Marion Technical College, if they have not taken the ACT, the SAT, or they don't have any prior college um, experience, they will be required to do pre-admission um, testing. And that's called the AccuPlacer. Um, and really that test will determine your academic standing in reading, writing, and math. And there is a small um, computer component on there as well. So that test is just to show us if you are ready to take college level courses based on um, what you did in high school, or if you need to take refresher courses that will kind of prepare you and just bump you up a little bit so that you are ready to take college level courses. Um, again, we have tutoring. So, you know, tutoring is free to any student that signs up and says that they need a tutor. Um, it, it is a free service. I know when I was at Marion Technical College, I used the tutoring um, and I used the math lab quite often because I was struggling in those math courses. 
Um, and it, it was really a great help. Truly, the only reason why I ended up with a college degree was because of my math tutor. Um, again, we have our Student Success Center. So that is um, where our, our writing lab, our math lab, um, those are located in the Student Success Center. Our computer lab is in there as well. With that computer lab, you have free access to um, the computers. Um, and then there's um, printers in there as well that you can use. The only thing that they ask is that you don't print off like a whole textbook or copy a whole textbook. But yes, that, that is free to all of our students. We have disability service or services on our campus. So if you are currently um, on an IEP in high school, um, you would speak with somebody within our disability services department. Um, now keep in mind that you will not be given that same IEP that, as what you received in high school. It, there's a difference. However, there will be accommodations made to assist you, okay? Um, so if you have difficulty hearing, then you'll be given some, some audio devices to help you hear as the um, instructor is lecturing. Um, if you can't see, then arrangements will be made um, to put you at the front of the class, or you know they'll provide some sort of screens that you can see better that will enhance everything. Um, so yes, there, there are a lot of services available that will make accommodations. Um, you just, you need to ask for them, okay? And I encourage you to do that. Um, it, it is very important that you receive all of the assistance and accommodation that you need to be successful. And then our Sherpa mentorship program, it's really kind of like our faculty advisors um, that again is for students who need just extra support, extra assistance from our faculty members. They will be, um, they will be referred and partnered with um, a specific faculty member. That's part of our Sherpa mentorship program. All right, results. Okay, so more than 1,000 of our graduates are working for Ohio Health. So that tells you that a big majority of our students are enrolled in um, the healthcare programs. Okay, and again, I will say that most of our students are nursing students. And Ohio Health is, is a really big supporter of Marion Technical College. Um, and they, they really appreciate and understand the quality nursing education and just the overall education that all of our programs provide. And so, you know, most of our students, they just gravitate right towards Ohio Health. Um, and we do have connections um, and, you know, students that branch out and go to other places. We've got students that are traveling nurses and traveling radiography um, techs. Um, so, you know, the, the healthcare profession is really booming and our students really, really take off in their careers once they graduate from Marion Tech. 100% of our physical therapist assistant graduates from the last four years um, are employed. So they have passed that examination and they are working as physical therapist assistants. That's 100%, okay? Keep in mind now these programs, each of these programs um, require that you maintain um, a certain GPA to stay within that program. So that tells you the type of education and the type of emphasis that they are putting into preparing students to do this work, okay? So just keep that in mind. 88% of our nursing students pass the license. Oh, okay, so 100% employment for our sonography students um, in three of the last six years. So sonography, I don't know if any of you have ever had like um, an ultrasound done, like maybe um, of your tonsils or of your belly, if your stomach's hurting or something, if you had- a I have. Yes, yeah. yep, that is what a sonography, um, what our sonography students do, okay? So we've had 100% employment three of the last six years. Okay, MTC graduates now have the lowest loan default rates in the state. Meaning, that means that students um, who do need student loans to cover the cost of tuition, that means that they are paying those loans back. They are not, you know, just forgetting about them or they, they don't, they're not working so they can't afford to pay them. No, that means that they borrowed this money from the government to help pay for school 
and they are now keeping good on their promise that they would pay this money back. That's what that means. So keep that in mind. Our NTC graduates are doing a great job with that. Okay, and now this talks about that partnership that I was just telling you about. We have four um, year colleges that we partner with that will, will accept all of the credits that you earn at Marion Technical College. So whatever class it is that you take um, at Marion Tech and you transfer to one of our schools that we partner with, they will accept that class um, 100% give you full credit for it, okay? All right, financial aid. We kind of talked about that a little bit, but let's go back to it. Okay, so again, you want to start with the FAFSA. Um, it says it takes 30 to 60 minutes to complete. Yeah, that, that's pretty accurate. It could take a little bit longer depending on how the application is running, how slow or fast it's moving. Um, so if you are applying for the FAFSA, keep in mind that you will need tax information two years prior to the school year that you want. So let me give you an example. Um, this is now school year 2021-22. So anyone who is applying for the FAFSA, they would use their income tax information for 2019 because it's two years before the school year that you're applying to. Does that make sense? Let's also note too that you do the FAFSA during your senior year of high school. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, and then at Marion Tech, it's about a three week processing time. So like I said, you'll do the FAFSA, that information goes to the government, the government then sends it to us, which usually takes about five to seven days. Um, and then it takes about a week or two for our financial aid department to process it. Um, and then they will send you um, a letter. Sometimes they'll send an e email, but nine times out of 10, it'll be an actual letter in the mail. Um, they'll either request additional documentation for verification of the information, or they will send you um, a letter telling you, congratulations, you've been awarded this much financial aid, and then you have to accept it or decline it. Excuse me. Um, we have grants. Again, grants, this is money that the government gives you that you do not have to pay back. We have the Pell Grant and it awards up to $6,345. That is um, for the full year. So you'll get half of that for the fall semester and then the other half of that for the spring semester. Um, and again, it's applied directly to your billing statement. So to your account with Barry Technical College. We have a deferred payment plan. So for students who need to pay out of pocket, they don't have any financial aid that they can use. They have to pay for it out of pocket. Um, we require the first 25% to be paid immediately. So that means, um, let's say classes start October 18th. Um, you have, there's a deadline when you can pay fees. And I believe that deadline is October 4th. Um, or something like that, but that means that you have to pay that 25%, you have to pay that to hold your spot um, and to make sure that you're not gonna be uh, unenrolled. You have to pay that by that deadline of October 4th. And then payments are um, at 30 days, 60 days and 90 days, okay? And then lastly, we have the student loans that we talked about. Um, you know, you'll get up to $3,500 for the first year. Um, these student loans, they are money given by the federal government, but you do have to pay them back. There's usually interest um, that's built in with that. So keep in mind, just keep in mind, if you don't need to take out a student loan to cover the cost of tuition, um, I would avoid it if at all possible because that money adds up really quick. All right, now this is for um, our high school, high schoolers. So we have scholarships for our high school seniors. These scholarships come directly from Marion Technical College. Um, we have the foundation scholarship. It grants full tuition um, for the first year. Um, you have to have a GPA of 2.5, so that's your grade point average of 2.5, and you have to be in the top 5% of your class, okay? And then we have the president scholarship. 
it awards $1,500 um, for that first year. Again, you have to have a 2.5 grade point average and be in the top 50% of your class, okay? So basically, um, this president scholarship, basically, if you fill out the application, you'll receive $1,500 for that first year, okay? Now, you'll have to apply for these again the next year, but this is first year, you'll, you'll get that money, okay? Um, scholarships for all first year students, um, the get to next scholarship upon completion of 30 credit of 30 hours, 30 credit hours. So this is for the second year that you're enrolled. Okay. So if you do the 30 credit hours that first year, again, those credit hours are broken down over fall, spring, and summer. So you do your first year, you should have your 30 credit hours in, and then this scholarship will pick up during your second year, second year of tuition. Um, 35 hours, credit hours is the maximum. So you have to be graduating within 35 credit hours. You have to have a 2.5 GPA. Um, again, if you are taking college credit plus while you're at TRECA um, and you are taking college courses at MTC, those will count towards that first 30 hours of that first year, okay? So keep that in mind. You will get up to $300 in book vouchers so books can be very expensive. Um, that cost of tuition that we talked about, that $190 per credit hour, that does not include the cost of books. Books are a separate cost. So with this scholarship, you will get $300 towards the cost of your books. Um, it is non-limited enrollment degrees, meaning it is for everything outside of healthcare pretty much. Um, because remember healthcare, the healthcare programs um, are limited enrollment, so there are specific requirements for those. But this does not, this get to next scholarship does not cover if you're going into a healthcare profession. It's for like business or information technology or engineering and um, some of the public services, okay? So that's what this is for. And it's a selective scholarship. So, you know, your application will be reviewed and then the selection committee will choose the recipients. And then we have the Choose Ohio First Scholarship. It's a $1,500 minimum reward. It is renewable. So you can apply for this every year. It is first dollar. So that means that this $1,500 is gonna come off the cost of your tuition right up front. Remember financial aid is done after your bill for the courses that you're taking. Then your financial aid comes in and you do the math that way. This is different. This $1,500 is applied to your account. So once you apply for this scholarship, you've been approved for the scholarship, it's automatically put on your account before you even schedule your classes. So that $1,500 is sitting there. So if your classes are $1,500 or less, basically you've got free, free tuition at that point. Okay, so this is different. This goes onto the account first. Again, there's a 2.5 grade point average. Um, this is limited to our information technology programs. So you have to be enrolled in software development, computer networking, or cybersecurity. Again, those are our information technology programs. Um, and then there's 35 um, internal scholarships for new and current students. So if you go to our website and you go onto our financial aid page, you will see that there is a link to apply for scholarships. Once you complete that link, then you, and you apply for, um, you fill out all the questions on that link, then that puts you um, as a candidate for all of the other scholarships that are connected with Marion Technical College, okay? So like we have some community-based scholarships that are for students directly, I'm coming to Marion Technical College. We've got some scholarships set up by businesses that are strictly for students of Marion Technical College. So I encourage you to go on the financial aid page and complete the form that's under scholarships so you can apply for those 35 scholarships as well. Activities. Okay, so here's some of the activities that we have available on our campus. We've got Five Theta Kappa, which is, um, that is one of our um, honors 
program, like our honors, what, what's it called? Um, it's not a sorority, it's not a fraternity. Um, it's just, it's basically like a club. It's called Phi Theta Kappa, um, but there are certain requirements that you have to meet. Um, it's for students who are excelling academically. Um, so usually, you know, you have to have a certain GPA and then you'll be invited to um, enroll and join Phi Theta Kappa. And they do different activities. They go to different conferences. Um, they, they really have a good time on campus. You're constantly seeing them doing something on our campus. So it's a really good club to join. I am currently a member. Um, so yay, go Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> um, and then there's the National Society of Student Leadership and Success. Um, again, this is pretty much open to all of our students um, who want to participate. They also go to conferences. They do different um, activities. Um, they do um, events with Phi Theta Kappa. So, you know, again, a, just a, another club that you can enjoy. We have the engineering club, which is for our engineering students. We have eSports. Um, that is something that is fairly new to Marion Technical College. So I don't know if you guys are into like all of the online gaming, um, like, I don't know, what World of Warcraft and stuff like that, um, where you can play with people from all over the place online. We, we now offer that um, for our students to come and join. We have an, an actual um, team that is, fo is forming to compete against other colleges. Um, in, in these games. Um, and we have a very neat, I mean, it, it's really a neat little um, arena set up where they come in, there's tables all around, chairs, um, and they've got these computers where they, the students just sit and play games and practice, okay? So if you're on our campus, I encourage you to check out our eSports arena. Um, we have um, a trip planned, and it's been planned, but you know, COVID happened for our students to go to Europe, take a trip to Europe. Um, it's an educational trip, it's a two week trip, um, and it's going to London and Paris for two weeks. Um, so I, I encourage you to think about that when you're picking colleges because most colleges will offer different trips like that overseas just for educational purposes, okay? Um, on our campus that we share with Ohio State, we've got the fitness center, which is in our student center that is free for um, all of our Ohio State and Marion Tech students to use. Um, there is no cost to use that. Um, you can also participate as a Marion Technical College student. You can participate in any clubs or organizations um, on the campus. So if the club is run by Marion or by Ohio State, you as a Marion Technical College student, you can participate in that as well. You can start your own club um, for Marion Tech um, and then allow Ohio State students to join as well. Um, and that includes like the intramural sports. So Ohio State has intramural sports. As a Marion Technical College student, you can participate on those teams. Okay, so here is a breakdown of the timeline. Once you get to your senior year, this is what you want to focus on. You want to follow this as much as you can. This will ensure um, a timely acceptance of your application um, for admission and also for your financial aid. It will ensure that your financial aid is processed and applied to your account before classes start, okay? So the first step is to submit the FAFSA. Again, this is for your senior year, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, step two is to be admitted into MT MTC. So you want to do the application for um, admission. You can do that either on our website, mtc.edu, or you can come onto campus and fill out a paper application. It's a very quick, simple application that'll take you about five minutes. Um, we will then need your official high school transcripts. So you will just contact Mrs. Bolin um, and ask her if she can send to us um, your high school transcripts. Um, and then you will receive, once you've been accepted, you will receive a letter um, welcoming you to Marion Technical College. And then you'll be given instructions on how to, um, to um, come to campus and do your student ID. And you'll, you'll get that number, but I'll explain to you how you can come and actually get the badge for your student ID. Um, step three is then you want to 
um, activate your MTC student account because once you have been accepted into Marion Technical College, most of the information that you receive will be via email, okay? So you'll want to set up your student account so you can access your student email and receive all of that important information that you'll need. It'll talk about orientation, tell you the dates and times that you need to be on campus to do your new student orientation. Okay, and then finally, you'll register for your classes. Um, so again, if you need to do that pre-admission testing, um, which is called the AccuPlacer that I talked about earlier, you'll schedule to do that. Or if you've taken the ACT and we've got your scores and your scores are high enough, then we'll use those and you won't have to do the placement testing. Um, and then you'll meet with a first year academic advisor and this academic advisor will follow you and check on you and monitor your grades um, all of that first year, that whole first year, just to make sure you have the support um, that you need and that everything is going well for you, okay, and to offer assistance. So like if you need disability services, but you didn't ask for it, your academic advisor will see that in that first year, okay. All right. So the timeline. So October through December, you wanna do that FAFSA, okay? And you also wanna apply for general admission. Um, and then by the middle of October, that's when you wanna kind of schedule to take that pre-admission testing if you need to. Um, at that same time, then after you've done the pre-admission testing, we will automatically see your scores for that. Then you will be scheduled to meet with um, an academic advisor right after that, okay? And then spring classes will then begin in January. This says January 11th, but that might not be the date. It's usually right after the holiday break in January when spring classes start. If you're looking to start um, an MTC in the fall, you want to do October through July. You'll do your FAFSA. October through August, you can apply for general admission. Um, November through July, you'll do your testing. Um, February through May, you'll apply for scholarships. Um, and then you've got from March until August, um, because, you know, we've got, we've got that big timeline in between spring and fall, you know, so we've got from like the end of the end of May, early June until classes start in August. So you've got, you know, a wide range of time. Our registration for fall will open up um, probably, probably around March, the middle of March. So you've got all of that time to schedule your classes to begin at the end of August, okay? So once you get to that point, your senior year of applying to Marion Technical College, give me a call and I'll walk you through all of this. All right, and that's the end.